Hello everyone, this is Andrea Dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com and I will be doing a reading for this week from the Enchanted Fairy Heart Oracle, which is my 44 card oracle deck. Um, and I will be sending you healing energy and giving you positive messages for the week. So I would like you to take a deep breath and really open your mind and heart to the healing messages and energy available to you. The first card for this week is the Yellow Monarch Fairy. And this card comes through when we have major life changes. Um, the fairies come with comfort to remind us that change is a natural part of life. Um, a lot of changes are answered prayers. Um, the universe is always expanding and moving forward and you are safe throughout these changes. Um, the fairies remind us that grief sometimes during change is normal and natural. Um, we just need a little extra prayer, self-love, maybe quiet time to release the old and welcome the new and stay in the present and trust the process. So the change fairy is here to help you to change with grace and feel safe throughout the changes that you may be experiencing. Thank you change fairy. I know that's a huge thing going on for a lot of people. And the next card is the healing fairy, connect with the healing lights of the universe. And this fairy comes to us when we need to take a step back and focus on receiving healing. Uh, maybe that means quiet meditation, maybe going to receive a massage or an energy healing, spending time in nature, and just connecting with the healing energies of the universe. I know life can be busy and we sometimes don't have a lot of time for ourselves. And the message this week is to really make time for your own self-healing. Your hands have a powerful healing power. Um, just connecting with the healing energies of the universe, you can heal yourself. Um, just touch your, you know, your heart, your head, and focus on channeling the healing energies of the universe. They're always available to us. Um, and during our quiet time alone in relaxation, we naturally connect with these healing energies. And the next card is the self-love fairy. Um, and this card comes through to tell us today that maybe we've been hard on ourselves. Maybe we're trying too hard to putting too much pressure on ourselves. And this fairy really comes through to remind us that we are perfect and beautiful exactly as we are. We don't have to change ourselves. Um, it's time to have patience, love, and respect for ourselves. Um, simple ways you can do that is to, you know, watch what you say to yourself. Do you um, call yourself stupid or ugly? Do you, um, you know, yell at yourself when things go wrong? Or are you your own best friend? Um, I feel that in my life I go back and forth on this. Um, I really have programmed myself to be nice to myself, but I realize in times of high stress I can tend to blame myself. And I'm really working on, you know, loving myself on a deeper level and the fairies remind us that love self-love is the is the basis of everything because when we love ourselves we are more willing to you know let go of things that have hurt us um, and really it helps us with stress also because we love ourselves we know that we are always connected with source within that we have an unlimited source of love so that we're really stable in the world nothing can take away that self-love that it's ours um, that card is also about pink energy, maybe connecting with pink flowers, rose quartz crystals, wearing pink, um, connecting with the healing pink frequency, which opens the heart and nurtures the inner child. Um, and the next card is Pixie. Um, this card's been coming up a lot lately for, you know, taking life less seriously, going out and having fun, dancing, um, being silly, maybe baking things, doing crafts, um, connecting with that playful side, um, and also just connecting with the rhythm of life, maybe through music, um, dance, walking outside, just getting out of that sense of um, rigid, rigid control, worry, stress, frustration, letting go of all that and just kind of you know, stepping into the rhythm of life. So call on the pixies to help you with that. And the next card is Fairy Princess. 
you are worthy of all good things. Um, and this card is really about ancestry healing. Um, I find some of us can learn about our core relationship with life from our families. And it's time for us to heal that. You know, are you receiving the good things that you your soul desires? Do you feel like the world's your oyster? Do you feel nurtured by life? And this card's really coming through to help us heal that relationship that, you know, we can have all the beautiful things that we desire, that we are safe in the loving universe. And just because maybe, you know, our parents or other ancestors didn't live a peaceful life, it's okay to change that. We can live a better life than our ancestors did. We can receive more. We can welcome the beauty of life into our being and we deserve it we're worthy of it um, this card also comes up for vows of poverty or you know any kind of programming like that I mean a lot of religions told us that it was bad to receive things to you know live with certain luxuries there was a lot of programming about materialism and it's time to heal that and balance that and really um, enjoy all of the treasures of earth so thank you fairy princess this card has a deep message for us and i would like you to really feel that energy in your being feel that you are a princess or prince of the universe you are nurtured in all positive ways and that you receive endless goodness now and that you are worthy of it there's no guilt release guilt and completely receive mm, so that's a beautiful healing energy the fairies remind us that we are shifting our consciousness and that we can evolve past our ancestors past their level level of receptivity um, the last card is the sunflower fairy and this card comes up to remind us that it's okay to be seen that you you're an important part of the universe and this card is really for those that are shy those that you know don't like to, a lot of attention just to remind them that they are very important and in hiding their own lights and gifts they are doing the world a disservice because the world needs them to be powerful leaders to share their expertise their healing energy their inspiration their love and um, so the sunflower fairy is giving us courage to step out and be our true self be seen in the world and to shine our light so thank you sunflower fairy and i'm wishing you many fairy blessings for a happy and playful week this is andrea dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com